Hello guys, welcome to Code Bandit. Uh, today we'll see how to overcome the issue caused due to cores. Now, what are cores? The full form you can see on the screen: cross origin resource sharing. Now, what uh, basically cores are, where it occurs, and how it is to be overcome. All this will be seen step by step. Now, the problem of cores are generally seen in the web APIs to provide. Uh, that, that are used to provide the data to the clients. Now, web API we mostly create in web app, uh, web application. That uh, those are MVC applications. Uh, right click on the controller, add, and in controller section you have a drop down to add it as an API. Okay, with add, update, or delete operation. So uh, this is how we create a web API. Uh, from 2013 and onwards, we have web API two. So if a request is raised to get the data from the application itself, so at that time, uh, the request, um, they will have the same headers. And that is the reason why the data, uh, uh, data is served by the server to the client because the headers will be same. But at the same time, if a request is made by a client, which is from a different domain, uh, which is a completely different application, at that time, the headers will be not same. And hence the request made by the client will not be authenticated and the server or the web api will not serve the request and that is the reason why we get the error as uh, which is written here on the screen no access control or allow origin header is present and you can see the screenshot of console application uh, so this red color syntax this is the error that we get and today we'll see how to overcome this and how to make your web API available publicly to any client from any domain. So let's move further. So guys, now let's move towards the creation of our project to make web API. File, new project. Click ASP.NET web application. Okay. And then here you'll see web API. Select this web API. Click okay. So our project is created. Now it's time to add web API. So right click on controller, add controller, select web API to controller with read write action. Now, if we select this option, it will just give us some dummy data in the action read write action. If we select this entity framework, uh, it will give some, uh, we have to select models and classes. So it will give some predefined read write classes, uh, read write method. So we have to select uh, this particular option, web API to controller with read write action. It will give us some dummy data. Click on add and the name will give it as demo. Okay. Now the API, we have added API to this folder. Now, as you can see guys, the name is same to that of controller, but this is actually an API that is API controller. So let's see it in the browser. How this application looks. So we have got the welcome page of our MVC application. Yeah, uh, guys, as, uh, as I have said before that we create a web API in M MVC application itself. So now let's move towards fetching our data. So we want to access this particular action method and the data that we'll be getting is this two value one and value two string type. So just copy this API demo. This is the URL of this particular action method. Go in the same tab, just enter slash paste your base URL slash API slash demo, which will help you to access this particular action and it will return this value. So let's press enter. So guys, as you can see that we have got value one and value two, which corresponds to this. Okay, and it depends. Now, if you have to access this, you need to write this way. So they have just given some dummy actions. Later on, when you connect your database, you can provide the data as per the request. It may be client ID, it may be name, surname, whatever. So let's move towards our problem now. Uh, I'll copy this URL just to show you the demo and I have already created a service. So when I refresh, 
I should get value one and value two here itself in the console. So I have already constructed the service in that way. But guys, as you can see, uh, the URL is the URL of our web API is localhost 65165 API demo. And you can see that I am accessing the same URL from Angular web application. You may be using any application. It's fine. It may be desktop application or anything. It is completely fine. But uh, this is the error that we are getting. No access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource. Now how to solve this problem? So it is very simple. Uh, everything to solve this problem, you need to do changes in the server side. You need to enable the course. If you don't do this, then you can only place requests to this web API from the web application itself, from the web application, your MVC application that you have created in. To give the access of your web API publicly, to make your web APIs available on a very large scale so that all of the client can access to your web API and the data, you need to enable the course. So, let move, so let's move towards enabling the course. What you need to do is add some of these headers, custom headers. Copy this, it will be given in the description. Please check the description. I've copied. I'll go to my project and then in web config, wherever you see system.web server, just go below it and paste it here. Save it. In web config, just go below system.web server, paste it and start your application again. Just build it. So guys, as you can see, that our application is builded and I am on the same URL API demo. We are getting value one, value two. This is the web API itself. We are getting it. But now when I'm accessing it through uh, my uh, Angular application, my different application, which is running totally on completely different domain. This domain is localhost 65165 and domain of this application is localhost 3000. So domain is completely different. Now, as we have changed, we have enabled the cores in our web API server. So I'll just press F5, I'll refresh this and I should get here value one and value two. So guys, as you can see, the string, the array of string that is value one and value two is the actual data and in the console, as I have written here, this get method to get the data from our, this specified URL of API. So here is the get method which I've written in my Angular application, which is running on a different domain and I have logged it into the console. So I'm getting here the value. So this is how the error is to be solved for this cross origin header not present. The very important thing is to enable the course globally for the particular web API application that you have developed. So it is the server side process to eliminate this error and make your web API available publicly. For more videos guys, please subscribe to my channel. Keep watching, keep enjoying. Good day. Thank you.